Hey guys, this is from a cute little game called Fallout Shelter. This is a mission on it, and it's a kind of an idle game. The point of the game, in my opinion, is it's kind of like Fallout Light. So if you like the Fallout series and you like the post-apocalyptic world and concept and surviving it, well this game takes place in that universe where you are the overseer of a vault. The game takes place in this type of turn-based combat where you don't actually have to control the fighting. It just happens. You just have to sit there and heal the guys. So you just go through the little rooms, room by room, just like you would in a Fallout uh, exploration, and you pick up all their junk. So just picked up a bunch of stim packs and coins and caps and such <coughs> and if you zoom in they have cute little sayings they'll they talk and we'll see you just you just explore some of the rooms are empty like that one and you'll just check all the desks and lockers here we go. who was in here nothing so you search the room empty room it happens keep going oh look what is it by the power nonsense so she they just say stuff i'm on a quest line following one of the horsemen the <laughs> apocalyptic horsemen uh right now they're following death earlier we i think i'm war right now i think i beat all the war people and became them oh here you go this is a little critical hit 5x it's just like using vats so anybody who's played fallout the critical hit system is called vats and it's just you know 2x to 5x or 3x <clears throat> i think it's 5x if you have the perfect green shot so this game is simple and with a uh, simple happy so right here you can stock the uh, crit two and a half all right not bad and you just kill the little rats the little skull next to them means that they're a high level or a little mini boss my woman there has a uh, hardened fat boy or an enhanced fat boy shooting nukes at these guys does a little aoe damage what do we got here what do we got oh nice so when you actually send guys out on quests like i'm doing you can read the little words i won't read to you you get little choices uh, let's see where is death's cave yeah let's see that one <clears throat> there's objectives and here you go talk to the weekly exposition reporter so once you complete all of the objectives you can leave and complete the quest now do not be tricked here when the purpose of this quest is save river dog or something like that it'll tell me at the end but it was not to talk to the weekly exposition reporter so that's just a side objective if you leave the area before completing all the objectives you will not complete the quest oh nuka cola <coughs> the point is the i mean my recommendation is just you know clear every room because why wouldn't you clear every room but if you don't actually complete the quest or if your guys are hurt you do need to finish the quest and find the last guy and it will not tell you that the quest is over until you leave or tell you that you failed the quest so it's really better to explore all the rooms but if you pay attention to the objectives sometimes you can complete the quest within one or two rooms and then the rest of the building is just full of loot so when you get to a room you either select them and you can just tap 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 x or you can uh, toggle between them and if you keep toggling through the people with the joystick the left joystick you will pick up items or things on the ground so you can either tap 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 x or you can toggle 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 big booms nice here we go all right critical hit all right three x not bad not bad these little blueprints help. They are either for a theme or a gun or, or 
a armor outfit I think they call them or outfits and weapons there's another thing the blueprints are for but you know you get the idea you just collect them so this, okay oh we thrashed them wait for it oh no these guys are just little no problem This is one of my A teams. They are, I think, all max level, and they have my best. Okay, so you don't have to use a crit. If you don't use a crit, the next time they fire, whichever one of them has the crit, they will carry it with them. So let's take them to that. Let's see who's next. A bunch of Jamokes. Jambronis. Jabronis. That's the word. Oh yeah, these guys are idiots. One of them actually, they, we were fighting over a typo last time. Alright, where's the crit? There he is. So when you have the person, you can target another person. And then move the crit, and let's... Yes! <laughs> so there goes the boss guy. One shot the boss, that's the way to do it. And so there's the dynamic variable you can let them auto fight and it's fantastic it'll do it for you or you can help them out and have a little bit of uh manual control over it which i like to do sometimes like that it helps if you do it on purpose and so like i said a little fallout light you can still aim for body parts you can aim for weak points in a boss but you don't have to do all that running around <coughs> and if you have an issue playing video games like that this but you like the concept here you go this, this is a way to meet you halfway this game is called fallout shelter so in the last room that's where you're gonna usually find the final objective nice dark and foreboding my favorite it's almost certainly going to be a death claw. They're very upfront about stuff like that. Death clawing its way out of stuff. All right. This is it. After you finish the last one, you can actually tell your guys to return to vault right there. And then cross your fingers. Quest complete. We did it.